just start off by saying how sorry I am. I know my upload schedule has been super out of whack. I have been trying to get this longboard done. I came into this little situation where I could either use a CNC router, which my father just got for his company. I wanted to see how it works. So I figured if I use it on the CNC router, that would be that'd be so cool. Just to show you guys how it is, because I haven't even gotten to see it in action yet. I was gonna use it on the board, but then I was like, you know what? Anyone that wants to replicate the process, no one's gonna have a CNC router. So I really want to do it by hand, but I'm I'm still on the fence about that. But while I'm on the fence about that, there's work getting done on it, so I can't even I can't use it yet if that's what I decide to do. But for fill in, because I can't I can't believe how long I've not uploaded a video for. So today we are gonna change that, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do an oil change because I haven't done an oil change on this car yet since it got shipped over. So I'm gonna go from my regular oil, or I'm guessing they put regular oil in, I don't know, but I'm going full synthetic. So I'm going to take off the drain plug and we are just gonna, we're just gonna start changing it because I'm curious to see how, how this oil is going to look. All right, let's do it. I really am in shock on how long it's been since I was last uploading a video. Uh, I also, hold on, just as another another thing, I also did um, a coolant change because I had a coolant leak. Let me actually just show you. So, don't ask why he put these lovely hoses in, but he did, and there is a leak right up here on the top side. This is the upper radiator hose, and this is the lower one, and as you can see, this one, this one had a, a nasty little leak. So that got all over the engine bay. Let me, let me try and show you where it didn't get uh, clean because I did do a little bit of a cleaning. You can see a little bit on the alternator. You could just see all remnants of in here, how dark everything is, how everything has a, a nice beautiful coating. And on top of that, you can look up here and see that, that little stain mark. But what I'm going to be doing is take off the oil cap up here. Uh, but I'm going to do that afterwards because first we got to jack up the car. Um, and that's it. Just take out the plug. I'm pretty sure it's like a, a size 12 or a 13 or a 14. We're going to find out when we get down there. I got to look at it because I haven't even seen it yet. All right. Without further ado, let's take out this dirty oil. All right, so you're not gonna be able to see my beautiful face while I do it, but you will be able to see me get absolutely covered in oil because there's no shot. This is not gonna get me absolutely. <laughs> jack stand, if you fail me, you harbor freight jack stand. Uncle puts. I could really use a breaker ball right now. Oh, yes, I whacked my camera, but I also broke the bolt loose. Okay, I need to back it up. Back it up. Back it up. Hey. Okay. Now I'm just gonna squirm in from the front. Well, I mean on my on my belly. Oh, this is the least mechanic thing you've ever seen. This is already aimed like it's gonna just go everywhere. Go on. Get all of my shiny ratchet. Come on. Do you see anything on me? Oh, what a professional move. And look at that color. Wow, that is... This stuff is cold. All right, we're going to let that drain for a little bit. 
and we're gonna come back and fill it up with the good stuff. I should have had my heat on in the first place. I just turned it on because I'm, I'm a little cold right now. But it is time to wear, put the bolt back in. Oh, it's cold down here too. Why am I not wearing a jacket like a smart human being? Uh, I need a towel. And of course you fall over. Don't do that. Oh yeah, that's real healthy oil. Really good looking. This oil looks like it was never changed. But I need to finish tightening this back up and then we'll be done. Uh. Okay. I'm gonna keep it with me and show you this beautiful color. Look at that. That is, that is some good looking oil. You could see my reflection. Look at that. Oh my God. My goodness. All right. Now it is time to fill. So this is going to be another uneventful moment for this. Uh, I'm actually going to lower the car. That is the new game plan. Let's fill it up now. Guess what I forgot to do? Change your oil filter. Not bad, we can still do it from up here. I mean, it's this is where you're supposed to get it from. So I'm gonna have to set this thing up now. Let me set up the tripod so you can see how I'm gonna do it. Okay, so this is about as half good of a view as you're gonna really be able to get. Do you think I'm gonna get oil everywhere? I, I do, I personally do. I'm trying to put a little something under it it's not gonna really do too much. Can I get it by hand? Yeah, I can. How much are you gonna leak everywhere? I'm gonna take a guess, a good amount. Look at this sludge. Oh my. Oh my. Do you want to see what we are working with? Did I just get oil on the corner? No. Look at this. Look how bad that is. You're gonna come on my journey while I clean up my oil spot. I'm using a resin, a resin paper towel. Who's that? Who you doing? <laughs> All right. Let me clean. Is I mean, it's just. Really? Oh, I got a prime. Why? Come with me on my messy table journey as I prime this. That is a new one. All right. 
let's go reinstall now this beautiful oil filter. All right, that's a good looking filter now. Okay, back to what we were doing. All right, that is a beautiful oil change done. We are gonna give this just a second let everything settle down in there. We're gonna check the dipstick, see how good we're doing. So I only had five quarts. Uh, Toyota recommends five and a quarter. I don't think that's gonna be too life changing. By far, my favorite design, the cord. I love this design rather than those flimsy aluminum rods. I have a Mustang, an 04 Mustang, and it's got the aluminum rod. It is, it looks like a curly fry now. So it's, you never know if it's an accurate reading or if it's shortened up so much. Really good. Beautiful. Right where we want it to be. All right, that wraps up an oil change. On a 94 Mark IV Supra. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm still, I'm gonna really try and get this video out for this weekend because I worked so hard. You guys got to see the whole process on how this longboard uh, has come out so far. So the next video, it is going to be cut. It is gonna be sanded and it is gonna be polished. I already have the trucks in here for those of you who've seen it. I've got the wheels already. Everything is set. Everything is ready to go. It just needs to be cut, sanded, and polished. And that is going to be it. That's honestly going to be a lot quicker than, than people think. It just, the cutting part, the cutting part, that stuff is so hard to cut. But thank you guys so much. I will see you by the end of this week with the next video. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one.